Desmond Pro Sound Mix. I'm going to do a quick video on this feature on Studio One that I think is amazing. I believe Samplitude had it, but I don't, I'm on Mac, so I haven't really used Samplitude. And what it is, is it's mixer scenes. So in, for us Pro Tools users, we usually have to save as, and then we'd have to pull up a different PTX file. So if I wanted to do a different mix, I'm going to have to have a bunch of PTX files, and then you have to wait for it to open and whatnot. But Studio One has incorporated it into the mixer. So I'm going to show you right here. When you click here, and you have record options, visibility, volume, pan, mute, insert, sends, cue mix. So I'm just going to click all of these. And what it allows you to do is now I can come up here and hit this plus button and it's called scene one. I can call it whatever I want, but I'll leave it as scene one. And this mixer scene is now saved. So let's say someone didn't really like the mix and they wanted to see, you know, you, you, you want to try something different. So now I can go over here and I could basically set all of these um, faders back to unity and um well see i'm not a uh i'm not a studio one user yet but either way i can set them to let's say here and get rid of the inserts so i'll get rid of the inserts You ain't acting right. Okay, there you go. And so let's say I wanted to add more inserts. So I would just go and drag a couple of inserts in there. Of course, it loaded them across all channels. Okay, so I, I put a couple of inserts in there. And I can save this as a scene. So I actually put a bunch of inserts in there. So now I would click down here and I'd hit scene two. So now I have scene one, if I double click on it, it will change, okay? So now this is the original mix, and let's say scene two was my um, second mix, okay? And I don't even know if there's a limit on how many scenes you can have, but there's my scene two. So let's say I wanted scene three, Now I'm just gonna do something like that, I'm just gonna drag these up here and I'll get rid of all these effects and I can call that scene three so I'd hit that and I call it scene three and what's cool about it is it's all in the project because by time if you wanted to a b in pro tools which is what my that's my door of choice but if I wanted to a b in pro tools I would literally have to open up a session and then it would ask me do I want to save the one that's already there and I'd say no and then it takes its time and opens up whereas I can have multiple mixes right here and I can just just double click on it and go to another mix okay now what I do find is it's not quite seamless when you got a bunch of plugins on there. If you had a couple plugins, it becomes seamless. Or if you have the same plugins and are just doing different fader moves, then it's seamless. But when you have a, a lot of stuff going on, it's not seamless, but it's still way faster than um, uh, having to open up a project. So I just wanted to do this quick video on uh, studio one and mixer scenes and i hope avid is listening and decides to get mixer scenes instead of doing whatever avid wants to do because they seem to not do what we ask them to do